Acts of Kindness by Claire Williams. Positive psychology is the opposite of traditional psychology where we aim to resolve mental illness. Positive psychology is a science of optimal functioning and well-being. It aims to promote the qualities which lead to greater fulfillment and valued subjective experiences. It incorporates a set of skills and interventions aimed at cultivating positive emotions, behaviours and cognitions. Examples of such interventions include gratitude and acts of kindness. Stress is how we react as individuals when we feel we are under pressure or threatened. For example, juggling multiple responsibilities can lead to the experience of stress. Self-care tools are the antidote to stress. Effective stress management reduces the impact of stress on your life and helps you to be happier, healthier and more productive. Stress management includes a variety of tools and techniques, which includes positive emotions. Self-care is of vital importance to ensure personal health and well-being. Positive emotions help us during times of high stress to provide relief. They are known to be restorative with stress buffering functions leading to reduction of the hypothalamic pituitary adrenocortical stress axis with decreased inflammation and cortisol levels. Experiencing positive emotions has been shown to increase empathy, altruism and compassion for others. Altruism is the selfless concern for others, while empathy is understanding of another person's feelings. Compassion is a concern for the fortunes of others. An act of kindness is an altruistic behaviour which is aimed at helping others. In other words, it is performing a kind act without first experiencing empathy. It is a focus on the act of doing rather than on the motivation for doing it. Acts of kindness are beneficial for our personal well-being in line with the positive activity model. The positive activity model aims to explain how and why performing positive activities makes people happier. Positive activities increase positive emotions, thoughts, behaviours, as well as need satisfaction, which in turn enhances well-being. The degree to which activities improve well-being is determined by the features of the positive activity, such as the dosage and variety, as well as the person's motivation and effort. Acts of kindness come in two forms. Random, where the individual is unknown, such as if you leave a painted rock in a public place for a member of the public to find. Or targeted, where you select a specific person to help, such as if you made dinner for a co-worker. There are so many ideas available, there is one that is suitable to everyone. Acts of kindness have a variety of benefits on well-being factors, including both positive and negative emotions and satisfaction with life. They help meet the basic psychological needs of the actor and increase need satisfaction, particularly in need to be related to others. There is also an associated higher subjective well-being in terms of positive effect, negative effect and satisfaction with life and a reduction of feelings of social isolation. Finally, an increase in social relationships and supports are achieved which are key to well-being. Performing a positive activity such as an act of kindness results in an increase in positive emotions, positive thoughts, positive behaviours and need satisfaction. This results in an enhancement of personal well-being. The more frequently you undertake an act of kindness with a high level of motivation and effort, the more results you will get. In line with the personal activity module this is. Acts of kindness are known to help individuals overcome loneliness and isolation, improve self-esteem, build healthy relationships and aid in both physical and mental recovery. But overall, the main aim is to reduce stress, which is easily accomplished through producing acts of kindness. However, there are some key considerations that need to be made. Firstly, children should always be accompanied by an adult when out in public or going to a stranger's home. 
It is also important to select an act which is within your ability both mentally, physically and financially. You should also take care to ensure you're not putting yourself at unnecessary risk where you could be injured or taken advantage of. It is also possible to become addicted to kindness as the adrenaline rush and sudden burst of happiness can be addictive. In the future, it would be really interesting to see what the effect of socionomics is on acts of kindness. Thank you.